afternoon, UNM's Alumni Association had plans to spruce up one area of the campus with its own money. They hired the contractors and started the project until the Board of Regents stepped in and put the entire thing on hold. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live at UNM with a look at what's behind the fountain fight. Marissa? Yeah, Kim, this area is closed off, but no one is working here, and that's because regents say they didn't know how big this project really was. The plan was to revamp the outside of UNM's Hodgen Hall Alumni Center and name the courtyard after longtime Lobo Karen Abraham, who retired last year after working with the university for nearly half a century. This is a gift to the university. UNM's Board of Regents says they were okay with the new name and a makeover of the area they thought would only cost $50,000. Then they found out the Alumni Association was planning on spending 350 grand of its own money on the new fountain and courtyard. As you can tell, some of the construction on the project has already started, but now the Board of Regents says they want to take a look at the ins and outs of the project before it can continue. The issue was is $50,000 was going to be raised uh, from alums as a contribution. The school thought that was the total cost. UNM's Alumni Association operates separately from the university as a nonprofit, raising money for the school. But since the project is on university property, regents tell us a major renovation like this one has to be approved by the board. And they had no idea. The project meant torn up ground and gates all the way around the courtyard. So we asked if halting the project could be a pushback from the board because the school would like to use the money on something else. I think that may be with the austerity budgets that they're having with the University of New Mexico. But if you really think about uh, that um, um, piece of land that we're talking about uh, over at Heisen Hall, uh, they have throughout the course of a year uh, probably anywhere from 20 to 25 different types of functions over there. Lewis says this project could have been completed within the next three weeks, but now that it's in a holding pattern, they have to meet back up with contractors to see what it'll cost to get started again. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Marissa. Now the Alumni Association will also present the entire project to the Board of Regents on August 18th for another approval.